So in this video, I'm going to be giving an update on all of the different projects I have been working on that are mainly focused on getting the greenhouse ready for winter, which, by the way, looks like it's going to be a doozy, at least in the northeast of the United States. A lot of snow looks to be in the forecast. So first off, I needed to complete the exterior shell of the greenhouse. So uh, back in late July, I finished the shingles on the north side of the building, and I also finished the housing around the attic fan output so that I could protect it a little bit better uh, from rain and snow getting into the building through that uh, attic vent, as well as maybe uh, being able to insulate that spot if I decide I want to. I also built an insulation housing for the inside of the greenhouse for the fresh air intake fan. I also started removing the trees that I had bucked uh, earlier in uh, the year, actually last winter, uh, in, in preparing the area for when I was going to build the greenhouse. And so I have a lot of uh, bucked tree material that I need to get down the hill and into the woodshed. Um, so that's an ongoing project that I'm going to be probably working on well into the winter. So I need to get the area next to the greenhouse uh, kind of leveled out and ready for my next big project. And that's going to be kind of a compost laboratory that I'm going to be building so that I can perfect my composting techniques. Uh, obviously, I'll be making a video specifically or many videos about composting uh, over the coming weeks and years. Uh, so in order to do that, I have to start leveling out that ground. So I had to make a retaining wall and I had to complete the stone stairs leading up to the greenhouse on that side. In the middle of all that, I have a hen that has bumblefoot. Uh, so I'm keeping an eye on her. She's fine. She doesn't limp or anything, but it's definitely something that I'm going to need to uh, be keeping an eye on. So I had to make a, her a little, uh, a little spa for an Epsom salt bath for her and she actually did okay with it. So she's doing okay. Um, I built a foyer uh, outside of the entrance to the greenhouse because I'm realizing I want to do everything I can to preserve as much heat as possible inside the greenhouse. And so it's kind of almost like an airlock. Uh, I built, I poured a slab and I built a structure uh, right next to the greenhouse so that when I open the door, I don't lose all of my heat immediately. There's kind of like a little stop gap measure. We'll see how that works. Um, I painted the walls black. Uh, I've just about finished getting it all trimmed out and getting it prepped. Um, there's still a little bit of air movement coming through some of the seals on the both doors. And so that's going to be kind of a, a little project that I'm going to be uh, working on to tweak that so that I can get as good a seal as possible on that foyer. Another big project I've been working on uh, this past week was I made frames that I could wrap heavy uh, greenhouse grade plastic onto and then screw those down over all of the windows, including uh, the roof, uh, so that I can prove the R value uh, by air gapping and, and hopefully hold on to a few more degrees in the greenhouse long term. I also sealed all of the uh, R6 drop ceiling panels because the the actual attic is insulated with r6 but then in addition i created a drop ceiling in the greenhouse that uh up until now the you know the seams had just been open pretty tight but open and so now using 3m's supposedly stickiest most trustworthy duct tape i sealed all of the seams up as well as the point where the drop ceiling meets the walls those have also all been sealed up. And so I have a really nice seal uh, on the uh, attic of the greenhouse. I also completed the actual drop ceiling itself. I had left one panel out um, just to allow as much heat as possible during the summer to be able to go up into uh, the attic area and then get expelled through the attic fan. Obviously, I don't, I don't want to do that now. I want to do the opposite. I want to hold on to as much heat as possible. And so I created the last, uh, or I covered the last opening uh, with a sheet of green R6 foam panels. Um, and that seems to be doing really well as far as holding on uh, to heat. I had to build a uh, sort of railing system to support 
the final bit of kale and Brussels sprouts because the plants are so tall because you know you especially with the kale you, you pluck the leaves as they come off and the plant just keeps going up and so these these plants are really tall and so I had to build a rail system to kind of support them tie a string onto it and support them otherwise they kind of have a tendency to want to lay down because they're so heavy and I had to also do that with the uh, Brussels sprouts because I still have a decent amount of Brussels sprouts uh, in process they're slowing down but they're there are still plenty of Brussels sprouts to harvest, and so I wanted to get those plants off of the, the ground as much as possible. On top of that, I wanted to make space uh, in the bed uh, for new plantings, because it's a good time uh, to start some plants, and so I have green beans started in all of the open spots, because green beans can, can really produce, and so I thought it might be a good thing to do in the open spots. I also heavily trimmed uh, the sweet potato vine, because it was it was out of control in here. It was just like a you know, sweet potato monster in here. And so I got that all kind of under control. So I added dirt and fertilizer to all of the, the potted plants in the greenhouse. So that means the, uh, the two cherry tomatoes. I have uh, two pepper plants uh, that I have going. So I added dirt and fertilizer to them, as well as all the strawberry buckets on the wall. The strawberries in the last month or so have really kicked into the gear and are be being really productive and they had really sucked down the dirt. There was probably about half the amount of volume of dirt uh, in those pots than from what I had originally put in them. And so I've added fertilizer, added some nice good soil uh, and kind of pruned them up a little bit and made them happy. Over the last week or two, I have been experimenting with a terracotta pot heater, more out of curiosity, but also it's probably better to work on that sort of thing ahead of time so that you can perfect it before you really need it. Uh, so I'm getting there. It's still kind of in the prototype phase, but uh, I have a pretty decent working uh, terracotta heater going. And you know, if you know anything about a Crisco terracotta heater, you know those things go and go and go and go, like literally months. It's incredible. Anyway, I'll be making a video about that at some point in the future. I've also prepared and added uh, some black water bottles uh, to line the sides of the bed itself. Um, black obviously is way better than any other kind of uh, vessel to hold water because it's gonna pick up even more heat and, and, and reflect even less. Uh, and so that's a great way to go to, to heat up your, uh, your greenhouse or to hold on to heat more specifically uh, with thermal mass in water. I should also mention that uh, I completed the final install of the control systems. Uh, this particular system is built by AC Infinity and it is awesome. Uh, so much control over all of the different fans that you can run in a system, as well as grow lights, all kinds of stuff. So highly recommend, uh, links in the description. I've also been working on some videos. I posted a video a, a week or two ago about ways that I keep my greenhouse cool. Uh, now that we're going into winter, obviously I'm working on a video about ways to keep it warm. So that's mainly what I have been working on lately. Uh, I'm going to be working on firewood a lot over the next few months, but I'm also going to be preparing the, uh, the compost area because I really want to have a robust compost uh, production going on. And it's right outside the door of the greenhouse, and so it's really important that I get it functioning well. All right, that's it for uh, this update. Uh, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, you might like these.